we, we praise God for what we want to get. It's okay. I mean, these guys were worshipping for who God was. They were worshipping him for who he is. The Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. They were singing to God. Blessing. Jesus. Everywhere your voice did not matter. Your voice will begin to matter. In the name of Jesus. In very significant places. Your voice will be significant. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now are you ready? Are you ready to worship this king of glory? Are you ready to worship this God of gods? Hallelujah. There is no one like him. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He is the first and the last. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, don't disturb me this morning. It's just between me and him. Hallelujah. Tell them, neighbor, I beg you, if you are going to answer any call in this service, please just go outside. You, you might not have, that means you don't have respect for God, though. You can't be talking to God and having a call with man. From where to where? The man can't give you anything. It's only God that can give you everything you need. Now, I've come to understand one thing. When we do what God can't do for himself, God will do what you can't do for you. And there's one thing God can't do. Ah! When I discover this, I say, ah, thank you, Lord. You know, when we say God can do all things, there are some things God can't do. God can't worship himself. Ah! <laughs> he can't worship him. That's why he has raised you and I to worship him. To bring him worship. And when you begin to worship him and give him all the praise he deserves, I'm telling you this God shows up on your behalf. In every area where you can't do things for yourself, God will show up for you. I sense a rush in the spirit for somebody in this house. I, I, I know suddenlies will take place. Ah, this is a service of suddenlies. Glory be to God. Are you ready? Yes. Are you charged up? Yes. Now, do one more thing. Tell your shake your neighbor small. Are you still alive? Because only the living praises the Lord. Tell them, I hope you are not dead. <laughs> the dead can't praise God. Only the living. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Put your hands together for the Lord. Has a way of bringing God's presence down. Hallelujah. In her worship. Be very expectant because every brokenness will be mended. 
when God steps in, everything changes. Are you with me? Please don't hold back yourself. I need you to free yourself today in God's presence and worship him. Don't be concerned about what you are wearing or the hair you have on. If the hair, if the hair should go off, no problem. It's not about the hair. God knows you the way you are. He knows when you go to the toilet. He sees you naked. So it's not a problem. But calm down. Don't let anything jump away. Let us see have ourselves together. Amen? Amen? But I need you to praise him with everything you have tonight. Gloria, this morning. And worship him. Glory be to God. With a king's dome standing and ovation. Please help me welcome our minister today. Joy T. W. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you so much for having me, Pastor Paul and Pastor Esther. This is home away from home. So I bring you greetings from the Cape Church. I bring you greetings from Pastor Jimmy and Kemi Tukoya. And I bring you greetings from my husband. He's on his way coming. You know, traffic tried to show itself this morning. I said, the devil is a liar. So I came down from the car and I decided to fly back. <laughs> I said I must be here. So somebody just celebrate Jesus. <laughs> Come and give him the fruit of your lips. Oh, great is your faithfulness, oh God. Great is your faithfulness, oh God. Oh, now I am old, but I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. <laughs> yourself just three seconds just search your heart has the Lord been good to you do you have any reason to give him praise <laughs> do you have any reason to give him praise if you do not have a reason I have a reason You've 
I know it's um, everyone is familiar with it but I, I was drawn to something in that scripture I think in verse 23 or so you know the story now the king of Moab, Ammon and Matthias they came against Jehoshaphat that's the people of Judah and Jehoshaphat went to God and cried and the spirit of God came upon the servant and he told them that the battle is the Lord's that they do not need to fight the battle but he said something he said position yourself then stand still I didn't know there was a positioning of self there before I just used to say stand still and see the salvation of God you know but I saw position yourself and I began to ask myself what does it mean to position myself before even standing still and what we are doing here today we have come to position ourselves the battle is the Lord's. Yes. We do not need to fight the battle. It was after the word came and that was when they began to sing and to praise God. It was when they began to sing and to praise God. Then God set ambush in the camp of the enemy. I don't know what it is that has gathered against you. I don't know what that trial is that has been fighting you for years. The Lord is standing in your midst today. And he is setting ambush in the camp of the enemy. And the beautiful thing about it was that they gathered spoils for three days. <laughs> Somebody did not hear that one. I said they gathered spoils for three days. Somebody is recovering what you have lost. Somebody is recovering what the devil has stolen from you. It doesn't matter. Maybe you made the mistake and that was why it happened. God has wiped that out. He's giving you back hundred folds. You are recovering in all. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Oh, We praise you in the beauty of holiness. Thou who sits on the throne of justice surrounded by rainbows. You are worthy of our praise, Lord Jesus. The four and twenty elders, they bow before you. The four living creatures, they bow before you. They cast their crowns before you. Lord, we cast our crowns before you this morning. We come to honor you, Lord Jesus. We come to give you praise, Lord Jesus. You are worthy of praise. You are he who cruises on the wings of the wind. Who is like unto you, O God? The Bible says, say unto God. How powerful are thou at your works? Your power is so great that your enemies submit themselves unto you. Who is like unto you, O God? Who is like unto you, O God? There is none beside you, none in heaven, none on earth, not even under the earth. Ah, you are much less in all your ways. Above all, the Bible says in John 4, it says God is seeking for those who will worship him in truth and in spirit. So, in other words, God is seeking for those who are seeking him too. And so the Spirit of God gave me an illustration. Let me use you. If I'm chasing after you, I'm seeking you and you are seeking me. This is God and this is Chichi. 
you are seeking me and I'm seeking for those who will worship me in truth and in spirit. In our chase together, move towards me. We are chasing ourselves. We become what? One. And then he said to me, when I am in your midst, when you seek me, I come into your midst. What can stand against you? Some of us need to let God. Let go and let God. Maybe you have been trying to do it on your own for years. It is time for you to step aside and let God step in. God will not strive with you. If you do not let him, he will not strive with you. You have handled it in your own way. Man's wisdom has failed. It is time to let go and let God. It is time for you to hunger for God. It is time for you to want to seek him more. Oh, we want more of you, oh God. We are tired of doing it our own way, Lord Jesus. Ah, oh, we want more of you, God.
we chant say I want you, I want you, I want you, I want you, I want you. of the name of Jesus. Knees bow. Knees on earth, they bow. Even in heaven, they bow. Under the earth, they bow at the mention of the name of Jesus. Sometimes we, we are too familiar with that name, Jesus, that we tend to forget how powerful that name is. Something is about to happen to you and you shout the name of Jesus. 
and it saves you and we just take it to be normal there is no name so sweet there is no name so